Oh, I just broke that. All right, so we're going to be doing a put together of the Vicos outdoor carport canopy, heavy duty garage car shelter shade with metal roof. I uh, got it from Tractor Supply for about $800. This is how it came, four boxes. So now we're going to figure out how to put this thing together. Unboxing. Okay, first things first, you need gloves, eye pro, a ladder. I don't have any of that, so moving on. So uh, on the two big boxes, one box is full of the bases, which is we got laid out right here, um, and the legs. And then the other box is full of the roof pieces that we got laid out there. So it looks like we got all the pieces to try to start putting this thing together. Um, bag of screws, some tape, and then this seal, whatever this is, we'll figure this out in a minute. Uh, and then the stakes to secure it in the ground was all in this box. Um, so highly recommend you get a 5 16 chuck, a um, impact wrench of some kind, that's what's gonna work for all of the screws that come in this bag. Okay, so just finished putting together J, K, and J on both the bases with two screws connecting each uh, leg. All right, so this is H, L, G, L, and then H again. So we're connecting H to L now, which is the legs. Two screws again. So we were a little bit low on this. We had to put a little bit of fill dirt with the tractor. It's good enough. We're not building a Rolex, so it should be good. Now we're putting in the whole braces uh, and we're gonna start screwing those in next. All right, so um, what are we doing? Squaring it up. So we got to square up the corner, so we're going to measure. Gregory's got that corner. I'm going to measure over here to this corner. 17 feet, seven and a half. All right, now go over to the other corner. We're right at 17 feet, seven and a quarter, so we're calling it good. 
All right, now that we got it squared up, we're gonna stake uh, four corners so it doesn't move around on us when we start putting the roof on. All right, so next we gotta put, start putting the roof on. So I'm gonna get my OSHA approved forklift here. Utilize it. First one here, so it interlaps, and then that one. I'm trying to line up these screw holes. All right, so we got her done. Because where we are, we can't trim these up because we got it up against our container, but I think we're just gonna leave it. But overall, it's pretty much not too hard. You saw the overlapping and the screwing. I will say that we broke probably 10 plus screws trying to put the screws in, but now we're gonna do the trim. It's just one long piece, so we're gonna run it from one end to the other and cut it and then do the other end. All right, so I spent about uh, three minutes attempting to put this stuff on, and it's pretty much garbage. There's no way, I'm sure there's a way, but I don't have the patience for it. So we're not putting it on. But if you wanted to put it on, good luck. Okay, so we're done. She's sturdy as a rock, but for $800, I would say it's probably worth it. I couldn't find anything cheaper than this and I think it's probably gonna last for a while but maybe we'll update the video or um, do a review on it after we've had it here for a year or more. <laughs>